This is the Fake Jeopardy Tournament of Champions After Show. So Paul, let's see how much you wagered. Only 2,000, that'll take you down to 14,600 today. And with your monster total last week, Paul Brown, <laughs> you are the Fake Jeopardy Champion. <laughs> Paul Kirby, shoot Paul. <laughs> <laughs> So good, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I have a refill too. Wait. Keep it going. Kirby, I need you to edit money falling down over Paul's screen. Over Please. Paul? Yeah. Finish this. <laughs> Hold on, there's a refill, there's a refill. The first pack was hundreds, this is only fives. <laughs> yeah. All of it. Yeah, that's all of it. I'm, I'm taking a video to include in the credits of what my room looks like now. <laughs> Cover up the. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh god. All right, Tommy, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. Oh my goodness. How's everybody feel after that last game? That was incredible. That was a fun one. That it was, was a pretty good fun. One. Yeah. I was, like here's that? the thing. I was really nervous because there were so many specialty categories and there was so much crazy stuff happening. I was like, is it going to be a little, like a bridge too far? I don't know. I'm glad you guys had a good time though. Cause I, I did too. I feel like that was, that was a really fun one. Yeah. Paul, I mean, My huge, man. huge congratulations. It comes with a $1 million prize, which means you now stand <laughs> at the top of the leaderboard of, of exactly. our fake Jeopardy like <laughs> earnings uh, records. But again, I have to acknowledge in October, you had no idea what Jeopardy was. You had only <laughs> seen our version. And now here you are, a, a tournament of champion winner. Take me through the feeling. <laughs> Feels pretty great. Feels good. Yeah. Might, might celebrate with an episode of Jeopardy, see what it's actually all about. <laughs> oh, a real one? Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, cool. actually watch the real show now. Yeah, now he mastered our version. You should apply to play on the real one. Send That's this in I'm, as yeah. your audition. Yeah, you could be like, <laughs> look, you should have me on because I've already won. Like, it's yeah, kind of a no I don't need a test. Yeah, no, exactly. They, they have your screen test. See if the money will transfer over as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a returning <laughs> champion with one million blah, blah, blah. Um, I want to take you guys through, actually, just, just, for, uh, just for fun fact's sake. Between times that we actually shot, I was, like, spending some time trying to figure out, like, who has records? Who has the, the, the top, you know, money in any give whatever. I was like, let's find every record there could possibly be and see who, who has it. And so I want to take you guys through some now that we've completed the series. Oh, yeah. Um, so, obviously, uh, Paul... With your combination, what you won last time, uh, which was only a thousand dollars, you actually oh, Paul, I'm so sorry, you do not hold the record for total prize money. It's Thomas Millet because he won a million dollar prize back in 2020. Um, so he is at he is at one million five thousand. Wow. Get f Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, consecutive, Tyler Haley has a lot of these. Consecutive Yay. games won. Seven, Tyler Haley. Tyler Haley also has the highest total without a tournament. Tyler Haley has the largest single game winnings. Jessica Finkel has the record for a correct final Jeopardy. She won 17,000 off of a final Jeopardy. Woo. The highest uh, final Jeopardy wager, unfortunately, it didn't work out for her, but the final, highest Final Jeopardy wager, someone is here who has that record. Can anybody guess? <laughs> Hannah. Is it me? Nope. It's Kathy oh, Eilers. Yeah. Hell yeah. I still lost. Kathy went all in with 19,800 <laughs> at the end of her God game. damn. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know what the Boston Marathon was, but I... Kathy! <laughs> <laughs> and you know, how long ago did I play that game? And you know I still remember the fact that I didn't know it. Um, successful Daily Double. Tyler Haley got it against Paul. And it's part of what knocked Paul out of the original series of games. Most correct responses in a single game as of before the finals. Can anybody guess? They're here with us. Caitlin. 
It's Gammon, 25. Wow. 25 in a single game. That was the same game Kathy played. And I almost had you. And most correct responses of all time, Tyler Haley, because he played the most games. He also holds the record for most incorrect responses of all time. (laughs) (laughs) There are two people tied with the least incorrect responses in a game. They didn't answer a single question incorrectly. It's Stephanie Knorr and Ryan Drum, and Ryan's in particular was the first round of the tournament. And he answered, I believe, 21 questions correctly and zero incorrectly. Like, it was a huge achievement. So, and RJ beat him by just a dollar, you know, so it was, that was reasonably a very close game. Some of those may change. I might go through and be like, wow, someone answered 30 questions correctly. Paul, your uh, automatic points category will count towards a correct response. (laughs) Oh, come on! Okay, so that's something I want to bring up. It's like, what was like the technique for Paul to like be sniping all of those automatic points? De- decades of smashing down on a DS for as a child. Oh, that's real. <laughs> I will say I was always bad at the button mashing mi- mini games. I never Me won. Too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got put in the hours. <laughs> yes. yeah. I was like, well, I felt like Paul sniping all that, and then Caitlin kept. I felt like during a lot of, especially like the fur, like you know, like mm-hmm. the regular Jeopardy round, like she was sniping a lot from me too, and I was like, yeah. I just I I put I took my phone off of auto lock so it would never go away and then it was just like mashing but my thumbs I just got little thumbs you know <laughs> obviously Final Jeopardy I think clinched it for Paul I haven't done oh, the yeah. numbers yet but um, like by the time his response was revealed I think it was kind of done but um, still a very very close like. I didn't know. I think all of you were leading at one point or another. Um, Caitlin, take us through everything you're feeling right now. What, what, what is it? What's the experience like? I, I still feel good about the game I played. I think even though I had a lot of incorrect answers today, I was buzzing in more like, you Mm -hmm. know, because I I think that was my problem with the first couple games is like, I know the, I know I know the answer, but I didn't want to buzz in and be wrong. So I'm, I'm happy that I actually like, even though I got more wrong, like I was trying to trust myself with it, you know? Um, and there were, there were some tough ones today that like, yeah. I, I mean, you saw me paw, we didn't have our judge during the game today. So I was having to kind of like, uh Oh, what the hell? Um, like the crystal Pepsi, I, I, people do call it cri- Pepsi clear right? Um, and have, it's just, that's not their brand. And so I'm it was like, there. there was a technicality, the office ladies who lunch thing, you know, that was just one word that really changed everything. De- definitely, like, ver- a very amazing, good game. Like, yeah. you, everybody should be very happy with it. Because it's been it's been a lot of fun. Just even the finals, the tournament, everything. Um, and RJ, I mean, again, fantastic performance. You, you had to go all in at the end there. Yeah, just I was like, I, I had to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, I, I mean, to, what... What do you think? What do you think about the game? What do you? How are you feeling? No, I was like, I thought I played a good game. It was kind of both times. Like I'm most upset about I like I knew like the flag of India had orange, white, and green, and that's that's the thing that'll stick with me. But it's like I'm better. I mean, I'm happy with how both of the other games and everything. It's like I had a lot of fun in both yeah. times. It's like I love like. And that's like always like my favorite part of Jeopardy. It was like always like the word puzzle one. So it's like I oh, loved yeah. like as stressful as the before, during, and after was. It's like I had so much fun during that category. You yeah, were absolutely cool. sniping on Wheel of Fortune. Oh my god! <laughs> I like waited. I knew like on that last one, like the sultry stockings. I waited like a hair too long, and I was like, no. <laughs> we yeah, Wheel of Fortune. You you nailed. The, I mean, sometimes I was looking at him like. There's five letters up there. How does he know this already, yeah. you know? Some people grew up on, like, Jeopardy, but my family, we were, like, much, like, more solidly Wheel of Fortune um, than when we were little. We were also a Wheel of Fortune family. I learned my letters off of Wheel of Fortune because we, <laughs> we watched it every night. It's a great tool because they literally call out the letter and then it pops up. It's like saying, yeah. here it is, you know? Just thinking. I disclosed during the game that I did warn you guys about some of these categories. Before and After was one of them, and Wheel of Fortune was another. So that we did to kind of combat any, like, extreme difficulty barrier, because I know it's hard to explain in words when I have to explain a category, especially for before, during, and after. It's just like, if I explain it, how do you explain that in words? You just have to see it. Um, So I know, know, Paul, you for sure had never seen a category like that before, right? (laughs) 
Um, I think the Fig Jeopardy episode I watched before the first game had that in. I think it had a picture oh, okay. it. But oh. I couldn't remember how it worked until having right. seeing that, like, what you sent. Like, no, <laughs> clue. And yeah. I've also <laughs> never seen... Never seen Wheel of Fortune, so I'll add that to the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's, I mean, it's it's definitely not as uh, not as intense as Jeopardy, but um, it's Hangman. They play Hangman, they get money from it. Um, awesome. So yeah, I've heard there's a wheel. It's great. Yeah, and they got a wheel. It's it's fun. It's fun. And we're about to get a new host too. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, and oh, you guys. Had you guys known we've done this this chain category before, but it's been years. I don't think either any of you were mm-hmm. on that game though. So I don't think so. What'd you think about that one? <laughs> that was fun. I yeah. really liked that. And it really carrying over that. into Double Jeopardy was like a an extra like, little. That like blew my mind. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yep. And you guys kind of did it right. You did because you didn't even know that was coming. But Never Break the Musical Chain was the last category of the first round, mm-hmm. and then you started with that the second round. I was like. That's the strategy, even if you know what's coming. So it worked out. Folks, how great is Elliot Cruz? So good. Yes. It was so oh. precious. Oh, my God. I know. I know. I know. So, like, this category was put in the finale months ago. So, Paul, I know we gave you another sports category. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, it worked out. Yeah. It did work out in the end. Yeah. This right back there um but how this came about was he at at their church their children's church he he does like news reports about like announcements stop ladies and gentlemen i am elliot cruz with the news and here are your announcements today he's only eight and he was doing them so well i helped them record one time and i was just like he always wanted to play and i was like ah that would be hard. I think you wouldn't have much fun because he re- he loves fake Jeopardy. Like oh. he's they they are always talking to me about it. He's just he loves it. And so I was like, when he did the news, the Elliot Cruz with the news is what he calls it. When he did that, Stop I was it. like, I was like, this would be perfect to let him do a category. And he is an absolute master of Major League Baseball trivia in, on his own. So I was like, let's give him something he knows. And then the little reenactment we did on the eight hundred dollar clue was so much fun. We got the whole, we got everybody involved. It was great. So that was in the in the game in that clue. Elliot's brother Henry was the runner who got tagged out. Elliot's dad Josh was the pitcher, and uh, Elliot's mom Lauren, who was my cousin, was the umpire. Out, you know, that thing. Gosh, such a fun category to do. We shot that in like January, so it's been in the bag for a long, long time. They're very excited to actually see it. Well, Kirby, that's what you do. That's your next game series is Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? But it's just Are You Smarter Than Elliot? That's true. <laughs> that's true. I don't think I could stand up to Elliot in a trivia game. <laughs> He's like, whoo, those, those kids are smart. Um, oh, my God. Phonetic Alphabet. You know who came up with the concept for Phonetic Alphabet? Kathy. Kathy. Kathy wrote that years ago in our doc. It's been probably it's been sitting since easily 2020. And I haven't been hurt that it hasn't been used, not in the slightest. <laughs> I couldn't. So here was the thing: I knew there was something there. I couldn't figure out how to make it work. Yeah, and you then did. When I finally great. did. I was like, "This is probably going to be really complicated." So I put it in the finals, but it worked out great. Like, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, you guys really nailed it, Paul. Do you have like a background with the phonetic alphabet or anything? Um, not explicitly. Just know a bit of it. Randomly, I think. <laughs> and those clues were so bizarre, it was probably like, oh, that word's weird. It's probably one of them. That's kind of what I would have thought. I'm going to say, it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, I couldn't pay attention to the clues. I would just like try and pick out like the the letters. And yeah. then it's like, and sometimes it would be like extrapolate, be like, okay, if I can get like the first like couple, then it's like, this is probably right. what the acronym is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that helps get it get it faster, you know? And then obviously you were the answer. I didn't explain that one, but I felt it would become evident, and I think it did. Paul was the Beatle, and then Bad Bad Leroy Brown. RJ stands for Richard Jack, which is probably unfair that we didn't disclose that before. <laughs> but I think Paul got the Jack clue anyway, so it's fine. Um, and then, oh, the the Richard the Third thing. Yeah, I just, forgot. That I was, was crazy. King, King Lear. 
Yeah, King, King Lear, Lear, Richard III. Lear. That was tough. Because I was like, maybe I can accept it, but I was we in the clue I said we were talking about the play. Um, yeah. Oh, and I had a good time writing Celebrity Limericks. That one wasn't like a special category. That was fun. <laughs> Those were really good. Yeah. Um, RJ, any last words to close us out here on Fake Jeopardy? Uh, I don't know. I had a, I had a great time. Uh, thank you to the crew. Thank you to Kirby for, you know, having me back on, especially years later and, years. and the states removed. Uh, but I always love being on here and it's been a blast. So thanks for having me on one more time. You earned it as one of the former champions, you know, <laughs> uh, Caitlin, any, anything you want to say? You know, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And it's just an honor to be nominated. Nominated. <laughs> good, good stuff. Yeah, this, this is fantastic. And again, I'll tell you, going into this tournament, I think I've said it before, I was a little nervous about throwing, you know, the people who hadn't won to the Wolves, putting them against people who had won games and games and games. Mm-hmm. And, um, I mean, clearly there was no issue. So you guys did did absolutely fantastic. And finally, our Tournament of Champions champion, Paul Brown. Any last words? Uh, just thank you for inviting me in. It's an honor to represent the UK in this. You know, <laughs> bringing it home for Great Britain. <laughs> absolutely. And thank you for coming. I know it was it was a challenge sometimes, given like the time difference. So you, you, you really were, were hooking us up in that regard. So. God save oh, the king. Before. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. That's Greenwich Mean Time for all. There you go. Still playing the time zone category. Oh yeah, yeah. If you play in the time zone category, <laughs> Calvin, do you want to say anything to close us out? Yeah, Calvin. No, I, I don't have anything to contribute. <laughs> boy, boy, Calvin, crack it, everybody! American hero, <laughs> Kathy. Anything you'd like to say? Oh man, this has been so fun. Um. Yeah, I I played that one game early on. I had a great time, but I've really enjoyed being on this side of this production um, since then, helping mm-hmm. write some, and then also the ones that I didn't write, I am kind of playing behind the buzzer over here, like trying to answer the questions too, and right. um, it's still incredible. So good job, everybody. This is an accomplishment, something that we should definitely... Um, play reruns of. <laughs> we'll sell it to Fake Jeopardy. Maybe they can run a yeah. week of it <laughs> on real TV. <laughs> Hannah Martin. And Hannah used to write with us. Hannah used to play. She was a... a, you can see. a, a, a if you just lean in a bit, we can see you. <laughs> so small on our screen, so I can't tell what's going on. Oh, yeah, that's okay. okay. Anything you want to say to close us out here? Um, no. I, I do appreciate that we have the loser of the worst of all time tournament and then the winner of the best of all time tournament in the same house. That's so amazing. I didn't even put really that together. It really balances out quite nicely. <laughs> it really does. That wow. house is too powerful, actually. Exactly. <laughs> too many I bring him into them. this game and he shows me up and I'll never forget. Yep. He outshines you. Oh, man, that's funny. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, I, I I totally didn't even didn't make that connection, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's so, that's so I don't cool. know, like, because I think Michael and I might have been tied at the end because I'm assuming I probably bet it all and ended up with nothing. I don't remember mm. how exactly it panned out. I just know I lost. So yeah, I know you had <laughs> some money from at least one of the games. So yeah, uh, and thank you too, Hannah, for I mean, years of writing and strategizing and all this. Pleasure. <laughs> it's been fun. Isn't it weird how we're saying years? It really has been. I mean, 2020, this was a pandemic project. Yeah. We're still, we're still here. Um, and finally, last but not least, our honorable judge, a writer, a buzzer man. Do you have anything you want to close us out with? Go to hell. <laughs> That'll do it for us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us on Fake Jeopardy! And goodbye. Oh, man. <laughs> that's a wrap, folks. Yeah, that's a wrap. That's a series wrap on Kirby Dobbs, everyone. All right, who wants to help me clean up? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>